it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. The problem is not that they don't hear just what you say. You see their kids, they seem to see things different ways. Just try these simple things, I'm sure you'll be amazed There must be 50 ways to say I love you It's a pat on the back, Jack Give him a hug, Doug It's not just what you said, Fred It matters what you do Drop down on the knee, Lee Listen patiently That's all you gotta do, Lou Tell him I love you You remember that song? I like this version a lot better. It's nicer, it's sweeter. But it raises a good question. How do you tell somebody you love them? I mean, yesterday was Valentine's Day. Chances are you got a box of chocolates and a card, maybe some flowers. Maybe some of you guys did like breakfast in bed for your wives. Because you really want to let them know you appreciate them and tell them you love them. And maybe you looked for that, that perfect card that perfect Hallmark card, so you didn't have to come up with the words yourself. <laughs> I mean, how do you tell somebody you love them? Better yet, how do you show somebody you love them? Because you can say it all day long, but showing it really means something. And if it's hard to show somebody you love them, and it is, how hard is it to show God you love Him? I mean, if you know what your significant other likes, Going out to eat at this special restaurant, you take them there, they feel good. But what can you give to God? What's God like? What does He want? You know, there's a lot of times people will ask me, uh, and I I so much appreciate it, they'll ask me, how can I pray for you? In fact, I just found out a couple weeks ago, uh, this woman, I went and spoke at her church 15 to 20 years ago. I don't even know that I met her. I don't remember her. But I just heard a couple weeks ago that she's been praying for me ever since. Wow, that's love. That is so much love. How do you tell somebody you love them? When somebody asks me, how can I pray for you? I'll often say, please pray for my wife and kids. No, no, but how can we pray for you? That's how you can pray for me, because if they're happy, I'm happy. If they're not happy, I'm not happy. (laughs) You really want to bless me? Pray for my wife and kids. If you got any leftover after that, I'll take it after that. But I'm not just kidding. I'm being very serious. My life is wrapped around their happiness. And if you can pray for them, it's all good. You know, I don't think God is much different. In fact, I know He's not. I think the first way, and I'm going to share with you three ways to show God you love Him. I think the first way to show God you love Him is not giving Him Valentine's cards, is loving His children. Listen to what Jesus said. He said to his disciples, if you love me, you'll do as I command. And then he said, my commandment is this, love one another just as I love you. Jesus said, if you love me, you'll do what I say. So what do you want us to do, Jesus? Love one another. Does that bless you? Yes, it blesses me. Love one another. Let me read to you a story. It's attributed to Tony Campolo. And uh, it's supposedly a true story about a Jewish boy who suffered during... World War II, under the Nazis. Let me just read it to you the way I found it. This little Jewish boy was living in a small Polish village when he and all the other Jews of the vicinity were rounded up by Nazi SS troops and sentenced to death. This boy joined his neighbors in digging a shallow ditch for their own graves, then faced the firing squad with his parents. Sprayed with machine gun fire, Bodies fell into the ditch, and the Nazis covered the crumpled bodies with dirt. But none of the bullets hit the little boy. He was splattered with the blood of his parents, and when they fell into the ditch, he pretended to be dead, and he fell on top of them. The grave was so shallow that the thin covering of dirt did not prevent air from getting through to him so that he could breathe. Several hours later, when darkness fell, He clawed his way out of the grave. With blood and dirt caked to his little body, he made his way to the nearest house and begged for help. Recognizing him as one of the Jewish boys marked for death, he was turned away at house after house as people feared getting into trouble with the SS troops. 
Then something inside seemed to guide him to say something that was very strange for a Jewish boy to say. When the next family responded to his timid knocking in the still of the night, they heard him cry, Don't you recognize me? I'm the Jesus you say you love. After a poignant pause, the woman who stood in the doorway swept him into her arms and kissed him. And from that day on, the members of that family love and cared for that boy as though he was one of their own. Jesus once asked, he was asked, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you or thirsty and give you something to drink? When did we see you a stranger and invite you in or needing clothes and give you clothes? And Jesus answered, I tell you the truth, whatever you did for one of the least of these my brothers, you did for me. Whatever you do for one of the least of these my brothers, you do for me. You do to me, as if it were me. How do you tell God you love him? It's not that hard. Just love his children. That's all. You love my children, I like you. You and I are friends. People who treat my kids good at church, I like those people. You treat my kids poorly at church, you and I will not be getting along very well. Don't mess with somebody's kids. We're God's kids. And when we insult one another and belittle one another and put one another down, we're doing that to God's kid. He doesn't like that. He likes us to love one another. So the first way to show God we love him is to love his children. The second way to show God we love him is to trust him, to give him our hearts. Matthew 22. One of them was an expert in the Jewish law. So he tried to test Jesus by asking him, quote, Teacher, what's the most important commandment in the law? And Jesus answered, Love the Lord your God with all your heart. Second way to show God you love him is to give him your heart. Love him with all your heart. Listen to this uh, Valentine poem I found by Joanna Fuchs. 